Okay, so let's get started by going to the virtual machine. And I'm just going to quickly log into it. And then I need to go to the shared apps folder. And you don't have to be in this folder to update Rails, but I just have to be here to make my apps because this is the shared apps folder. You don't have to do this, but I just want to have everything up to date. So I'm just going to update Rails to Rails 4. And the snippet is this. These two options will not install the documentations and it will make the installation a little bit faster. So now Rails 4 is, is installed and you can run Rails-V to get the version. Now let's go ahead and just make a new Rails 4 project. Now let's head over to Google and look for Bootstrap SAS version 3 and pass in JLong for the GitHub user. Let's go ahead and download the zip. I'm just going to put in my downloads folder. And let's head over there and just unzip the content. So right here, there's a folder called lib. So I'm just going to go there and copy all the stuff. And I'm going to go to the project folder we just made. I'm going to go to vendor, assets, style sheets. And here I'm going to make a new folder called bootstrap and uh, I'm going to paste everything there. I also need this um, fonts folder so I'm going to come back here in this styles sheets folder I'm going to paste that fonts folder there as well and then I'm going to go back here in the javascripts folder and make a, another folder called bootstrap and here I'm going to grab all the javascript files I'm just going to leave out tests for now and I'm going to paste everything in the bootstrap folder. Now we need to include this folder so let's go back here in the root of the project in app, assets, javascripts and application.js. So here I'm going to include that folder we just added by using require bootstrap forward slash bootstrap. So let's save that. We also need to add these style sheets. So in the style sheets folder, we're going to make a new file and I'm just going to call that my main.scss. I'm going to import the bootstrap SAS that we just added. So there you go. I'm basically going back to the vendor folder and the folder that we added, the Bootstrap SAS. Now I'm doing it this way because I want to have access to all the mix-ins and pretty much everything that Bootstrap has to offer. You could have done it the other way by including in the applications.css, but I found this way will give me more flexibility. So let's just do an example and let's see if it works. So I'm gonna head back to the terminal, then I'm gonna go to the root of the folder we just made, and make a controller with a bunch of views. Now it's time to actually test it. So I'm going to head over to Bootstrap's documentation and just grab something from the examples section. I'm just going to grab this responsive nav bar. And I'm going to put it in the app views, pages, and the about page. Just like that. So let's run the server and let's see if it works. It seems like you cannot find the JavaScript files that we included. So let's go and see if you can fix that. My only guess is that perhaps I've made a spelling error. So Let's go to application.js and this is where the files are. No, I have not included bootstrap. So yeah, actually I forgot to make that file. So let's do that real quick. And here I'm just going to require all these files that we have here but you can choose what you want to include. 
So basically this is the name of all the files that we need to include. Now let's see if it works. It's still not working. I think I forgot to include hotel rails to look at this folder. So let's see if that will fix it. Yep, it seems like it's all happy. Yep, so there we go.